Hi, welcome back to the homestead. This is John with Happy Wife Acres. We are educating homesteaders if you are new to the, to the channel. And we like trying new things and teaching it to you and hopefully you will try it out too. Today we're gonna to be building bunny tractors. What is a bunny tractor? It's, it's a, basically a grow out pen where your rabbits can go spend time on the grass and you can move it every day so they get fresh grass while they grow up and wait to be butchered. And if you're not butchering rabbits and you just want a place to put them out on the grass so they don't run away or dig out, uh, this is a, a good solution too. This cage is a six foot by two foot a cage with a wire bottom. So I'm going to show you the materials. By the way, this is Shop Chicken. She visits me every day to get up on the bench in the shop and lay her egg. So if you hear some cackling behind us, it's probably her with a freshly laid egg. So here are the materials. You're going to need four two by fours. And when they're all cut, I've got them cut here, you're going to wind up with six six-foot sections and 14 22-inch sections after you've ripped them. So these have been ripped in half, so nominally two by twos. The other materials you're going to need, you're going to need hardware cloth. This is half inch by half inch. Please do not use chicken wire, as other animals can just rip right through it. Get the good stuff. And, and build it with hardware cloth. This is two inch by four inch welded wire and you're going to need a, a two foot by six foot section that's going to go on the bottom so they can't dig out. You're also going to need a couple of hinges your choice as to what kind you you choose and a handle. Last thing you're going to need is some sheet steel or something to cover the top. Uh, I've got this eight foot long, it's about 26 inch wide, corrugated sheet steel uh, that could be used for a patio roofing. I'll probably use that. I also have some leftover roofing material that I could cut to size as well. So these are my notes that I've made to build it, but I'll post these down in the, in the notes of the video. We're going to start putting them together uh, into three six by two frames and then the verticals to make a box so let's get started as i build up each frame I'm just laying the wood flat putting a clamp on it and then i'm going to drill a pilot hole i'm not doing this in the center i'm doing it a little offset because i have to put the verticals on and i have to drill there as well so i don't want the two screws getting in the way of each other so I'm going to drill a pilot hole. I like to use a countersink. It just helps uh, prevent the wood from splitting. I'm using two and a half inch screws. You could use nails. It's just my preference. There you go. So now I've got this portion of the frame built. I'm going to build up three of them. Just a little tip, I do use three drills for this. One for making the pilot hole, one for making the countersink, and one for screwing it in. On two of the frames, you're going to have to add a middle bar, and that will be the top frame and then the lid. And this is just for a little strength in the middle. The three frames are finished. These two have the center bar. This one is the bottom. It does not have the center bar. And now what I'm doing is I'm just putting on the verticals. I've got it laid sideways so I can work with it. So I'm just going to put the legs on and then I'll put a top on that. Shop chicken is still laying. How you doing, baby? You okay? You going to let me touch you? Yeah, you're a good girl, aren't you? Yeah. Her and I have become friends. She used to be really wild. Alright, so the basic shape has been put together. 
and we're now joined by Gavin. Say hello, Gavin. Hello. Gavin is doing some volunteer work, so he'll be with us, uh, probably get this thing done while he's here. Uh, so the next step is going to be uh, putting up some side rails uh, about in here for the divider, um, and then putting on the putting on the sides and the hardware cloth. On the two vertical posts that go in at 24 inches, um, we have to cut grooves. So we're using the router. If you can see that, there it is. We cut a half inch deep groove, a half inch deep, half inch wide. We can do that on the table router. So Gavin's going to do the second one. Start it up. We installed the vertical bar that's been routed, but we also had to route out the top cross rail member. And we're going to do it on this side as well. What we're using, Gavin's holding a trim router. And what we've done is we've put a side guard to keep it uh, from, from cutting the wrong way. And so he's just going to insert it and cut up. The next step, we've cut out a two foot by six foot piece of welded wire. And I say two foot by six foot, it's actually two foot by five foot 10. That's because when we staple it, we're not stapling it to the edge, we're stapling it a little bit on the inside. So we cut out one two inch square. The rest of it was designed for the a 25 inch width. So there's room to staple. I use a pneumatic stapler. You could also use a, a hammer and staples or whatever you feel is appropriate to attach it to the wood. So in the next step, we're adding half inch by half inch hardware cloth. This is a exactly two foot by four foot section. There's gonna be one on this side, one on the opposite side, and there's going to be a two foot by two foot section on the end. And Gavin is starting to put on the sides. He's just finishing this side. We'll finish out the wood sides. And then the step after that will be to make the, uh, make the divider. Gavin is going to have to depart now, but thank you very much for, for helping out today. No problem. I was not expecting your arrival, so thanks for, for coming to help out. Now, why are you doing this? Uh, community service for my school. Okay, so this is a requirement? Yes. Okay, and so it's the animal shelter's loss and, and happy wife faker's gain. Yep. <laughs> Thank you. Right, so Gavin is finishing the divider. Oh, he's cut the hole for the rabbits to jump through and then the hole for the feeder, we can mount that. So we're gonna cut one hole at the top as a finger hole so we can lift it in and out and we'll show you how that fits in. Gavin's finishing up the hinges. We got two hinges on the back and we're about to put a, put a top on this. So the holes are cut out for the rabbits to pass through and for the food to hang. Did put in these horseshoe clips and that way the, the feeder just clips onto that. All right, so Gavin's gonna slide it in. See, it goes right in those grooves that we cut. This is all the way down. And there it is. And has a little finger hole way you can pull it right up and we put the divider in for rabbits and we take the divider out when we have chickens getting near the end and we're going to use this piece of galvanized steel as the cover uh, if you're buying all new materials this is probably one of the more expensive pieces i think it's somewhere between twenty dollars twenty five somewhere in there um, but if you have access to used roofing materials or old pieces of, of uh, steel, by all means use that and you'll save even more money. 
All right, so Gavin's putting in the final screw for the lid. So, so there's the hinges on, divider in, and our last step is going to be to put a handle on it. And then, this is the second day, by the way. We didn't get it completed on the first day. And Shop Chicken is back. To lay another egg. Are we disturbing you? Yes, please take the camera off the door and just do your work, he says, without as much noise. We have added a handle, and this job is done. Good job, Gavin. You're welcome. We're going to take it out in the yard and put some bunnies in it and see how they like it. One thing we missed indoors was the jack chain. And we just added some chain so that the lid will, will stay open when you open it. And But this is the final product. Get some bunnies in here and hang a waterer on this side and hang a feeder. As you can see, the grass comes up. They can eat the grass, and you can easily pick this up and move it to a new space. Just watch their paws. Uh, move it to a new space every day. I will put the parts list and the estimated cost down in the notes, but I estimate that if you bought all new materials, this would cost about $75. And if you had somebody make it for you, they'd probably charge you north of 250 would be my guess. Uh, but it's two by six, and we've raised a lot of bunnies in these. This is our third one that we made, and we really like this design. All right, thanks for watching, and please subscribe to the channel. We do appreciate when you do that. Uh, we are full-time homesteaders and love to bring you videos like this. We will see you next time on the homestead. Right. Bye.